So a lot of people have asked me how I do my color grading in my films, how do I do the color processing. And I decided to give you guys what is my favorite LUT. It's a company I'm not associated with. I'm not getting any marketing or anything or money from them. I just wanted to tell you guys about it because it's something I actually use for all my films and it's a product that I like. And the product is by Tropic Color. It's their vintage LUTs. But specifically, it's one LUT in particular. It's called Marlin. It's really, really great. And I want to show you the results that I get from it and how you guys can quickly and easily apply it to get some really good footage. So now I'm in Adobe and basically I have a couple range of different scenes and I'm just gonna toggle them on and off and show you guys how I apply them. So basically you go over here, you put on the Lumetri color. This is what with the LUT applied. So basically you go to input LUT, you'll click though this will say browse. If you haven't already selected this, you'll browse and you'll find the image and then apply the LUT. Uh, and if you've already applied it, you'll just click Marlin, and that already is going to give you straight out of the box a really good look. Um, I did some tweaking. You can do like, let's say you don't want it as orange. You can take down some of the temperature. And in this case, I brought a lot of the highlights up and brought the shadows down a little bit to give a nice contrast. It gives a warm orange sort of feel. Um, in this case, we went from a very high contrast scene because this is a vintage LUT. It's going to apply a lot of softening to the image. Um, and this is, I think, one of the things that makes my films look really unique is the sort of soft uh, effect. It almost gives a filmic quality, which I like. And if you look here, you can see more of a standard, just how I would use the LUT. Um, and in this case, I think it really brings out the warm orange skin tones just to kind of give some life to your characters. Uh, when you shoot in log footage, there's a lot, to, it, it tends to get very muddy. Uh, and so I think the Marlin Tropicolor LUT works really great here. Um, again, you can really bring out the contrast in an image. So it's as simple as literally going from no input LUT, browsing, finding your LUT, applying it. There you go. You're gonna get sort of a warm orange and teal sort of feel. And then I would just mess around with creative curves until you get something that you like. And in many cases, I feel like 99% of the time you have to bring the temperature down to the, the more blue scale. Um, just because if you just let's look at it normally, you kind of get like a more of a warm orange feel. And so I feel like bringing it down a little bit more blue just kind of makes it feel more natural. So that's basically it. Before you go, I just want to say that I also made a video on the folk filmmaking movement, which is basically a movement of online feature filmmakers who are releasing their films for free. It's very interesting. We talk about uh, some creators like Joel Haver who have made uh, very successful feature films and released them for free online and talking about just kind of the general idea of the movement. It's a great video, and especially if we are only focusing on technical stuff, it might be good for you to look into the more philosophical component of filmmaking. So check that out. Consider subscribing. Have a great one.